hello and welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be talking about 10 things i wish i bought with me while relocating to canada okay so i moved um, to canada in february and it was still winter so there were a lot of those it was still cold and then there were quite a number of things i didn't really feel like i would need when i get here, when i get to canada but i eventually realized that i actually needed the first thing is the vaseline so i don't usually like using ori or vaseline i'd rather just use coconut oil for myself or my baby and it was working perfectly fine in nigeria there was no complaints at all i used my normal body cream but if i needed to ever lubricate my skin i'd rather go with the um, coconut oil so when i got here I got hit by the weather and I realized my skin was really feeling really dry despite the fact that I used my normal body lotion that I bought from Nigeria I had to add Vaseline and for the first 14 days we were in quarantine we couldn't go out so I couldn't really get the brand of Vaseline I, I couldn't get Vaseline like I, I wanted to be sure I would get the right thing so I couldn't get it until after the quarantine and those 14 days was a struggle because I had to like keep applying coconut oil and keep reapplying and it wasn't funny at all. So if you're coming to Canada, it's going to be winter or close to winter or close to the end of winter. Just come with your ori or Vaseline to keep your skin hydrated. Okay, number two thing I wish I had brought with me was um, my turning stick. I am a Yoruba girl, I'm an African woman and I love my swallow well so i didn't bring my turning stick and it was not funny because at some point you know i wanted to um make a bar make a mala make poundo and all that and i couldn't really um do it as much as smooth as i would want because i didn't have my turning stick till after the quarantine and then i had to spend what i was not supposed to spend i had extra um, turning stick at home i could have just kept one in my bag and i didn't have to spend money on it but yeah i forgot to bring that so i didn't had it in my baggage <sighs> number three top thing on my list i wish i had bought sieve so if you are the type of person that likes to parboil your rice or parboil your food before um cooking it, there are certain foods that you just need that sieve for well i could have actually just brought one along but i didn't see the necessity so i didn't take any no matter how small it would have actually helped a lot especially during the quarantine period before i could go out to start shopping for things myself because i didn't see myself buying sieve online like ordering no i didn't so i didn't buy it and i had to improvise so if you're coming you could just click one small one along it would actually do you a whole lot of good hmm number four on my list is tin quarter hmm. so i was staying at heavy and for 14 days and because of the quarantine like i said i couldn't go out and i needed the tin quarter for the some of the stores i ordered online like the canned stores i ordered online well i wish i had bought one it would have actually been a lifesaver for that period till i could go out and those are small small things that if you had just brought along you know it wouldn't really add anything to your package like that so if you can actually bring it along why not carry go <laughs> another thing i wish i brought well was sachet tomato so in nigeria at least for the first 14 days when i couldn't really you know go and look for my tomato paste myself and pick the ones that i actually wanted in Nigeria, tomato paste is like 170 naira max, 150, 120. Some are even cheaper, but I didn't bring any. So, jollof rice had to wait for 14 days. If you're a jollof rice addict, I'm not, I'm not a jollof rice addict, really. Seriously, I have to confess. But if you are, then please come along with your sachet tomato or your thin tomatoes because it will save your ass. You know that? period when you can't really go out and you maybe you have a brand or you have a preference because here yeah, there are different tomatoes in cans different types so and it has to be tomato paste to give you that nigerian jollof rice flavor so if you really want that flavor in your jollof rice definitely definitely bring some along at least you're able to go to the store to buy because here yeah, it's expensive if you're still converting to naira hmm. 
get ready then another thing i wish i had actually done was to bring um cream like body cream and not body lotion for this weather body cream is would have been more appropriate because normally if you're not the kind of person that uses body cream or you you lotion person because of the cold and the dryness of the weather it actually be better of using a body cream so if you're not a body cream person even if you're not just look for the cream version of whatever lotion you're using or whatever product you're using and um like use it here it would help a lot to help you keep your skin hydrated that if you are no like if you're no note of wrestling if you don't like using wrestling on your skin and all that you don't like oily stuff or maybe you're not like you don't like oil based stuff on your skin just bring body cream don't bother with lotion because the, that lotion mess you up really seriously like the weather especially during winter it's a no-no another thing well hmm. yes another thing i felt i should have bought was air cream because i could have actually just carried a little amount of that in my bag well i just felt i'll buy it there well it happened that i couldn't just buy it like that because i wanted to see what i wanted to buy i'm this kind of person that there are some things i cannot order online you understand like i just want to see the ingredients i want to read it i want to see you know i just want to see what i want to buy and i couldn't do that online i had to wait till i could go to a proper african store and buy what i wanted specifically so if you're traveling and you need your hair cream should just even if it's small put it in your bag Mm? Because, don't forget it because your hair needs to stay moist and stay hydrated during um your stay and all that before at least before you get the products you want and sometimes there is a particular brand you're used to using and then before you look for a different brand that would work properly for will serve you properly so if that is the case then definitely come with with the hair cream that you prefer something else i would like to also add is um long peak stockings like long peak stockings the, 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 i think the emphasis there is on the thickness of the stockings i'm this kind of person that i usually get cold easily through my feet and if i had thick stockings i had long stockings but i didn't have thick ones so i didn't get thick ones like really thick ones so I'd advise that you had that definitely to your baggage you can even wear it simply while you're on hair traveling that long haul if you if you don't mind you can actually have that then um the bonus i think i would like to add is for the ladies definitely get leggings and indoor sweaters when it's really cold sometimes maybe the heater would not really get the um the indoors to be as cold as you would want it but if you have your sweatshirt or your sweaters and then you have your leggings it will serve you very well last but not least i would just like to add that you should make protective hairstyles before coming like if you're coming during winter make sure that you are wearing a protective hairstyle something that will protect your hair from damage from breakage and all that so if you enjoyed watching this video if you have found it informative, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. I remain yours faithfully, yours truly, yours sincerely, yours beautifully. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye. See you next time.